Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Stock Market Today. It's Alyssa Corum, and I am joined by the very uh, great, I would say, Ken Freed. <laughs> I'm just at a loss for words. You've been missing from the show. Yeah, well, I'm, uh, yeah. I'm happy, happy to be back. Good to see you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, everyone. Uh, Ken's going to give us a quick rundown of what we're going to be talking about today. We saw some interesting action for a couple of growth stocks. Yeah, and uh, very, very tight uh, price action for the major mm -hmm. indexes uh, today. So uh, we actually have five wins in a row for the NASDAQ, another great uh, performance for software stocks. So we'll be sure to talk about a really nice breakout for uh, Paylos city and uh, as usual two other stocks all right well let's start off with a look at the major indexes this is the nasdaq here and as ken mentioned we saw another gain for the tech heavy index closing up about three tenths of a percent for the day while the s p 500 closed up fractionally and the dow down about two tenths of a percent for the day so nice to see a, a little bit of tightening up here after that test of the 21 day yeah i mean this is a, a market that just does not want to go down we had some uh, kind of mixed economic data before before the open, jobless claims came in a little higher than expected. Still a lot of uh, uh, unemployed uh, people out there, unfortunately. But we got another, uh, actually the second uh, good reading on manufacturing uh, this week. Earlier this week, the Empire State Manufacturing Index was much better than expected. Uh, today, the Philadelphia Fed uh, Regional Manufacturing Survey was also much better than expected. So uh, pretty good economic data. And uh, you know we'll, we'll see the NASDAQ is, is still going to try to get over this 10,000 level. This is a big round number that uh, could be a little bit of resistance, but after such a you know strong move, you know Mike Webster on uh, IBD Live uh, earlier today or earlier this morning talked about maybe a little consolidation below the ten thousand level in in, pre in preparation for another leg up. So we'll see how that uh, plays out. Yeah, we will. And Ken, you mentioned the strength uh, in software names. So let's take a look at Paylocity, ticker PCTY here. A very strong day for the enterprise software stock, up over 7%, clearing a handle entry and that 140 level. Yeah, this is uh, this is just a classic uh, breakout. Uh, you can see a little bit of resistance at uh, 140 in recent days, but the uh, buy point here was 140.81. Uh, we say to never chase a stock when it moves more than 5% past mm -hmm. a buy point. So uh, Paylocity is still uh, in buy range uh, as of the, the close. So, uh, you know, software sector has delivered so many breakouts in, uh, yeah. in recent weeks. And, uh, you know, we had uh, Shopify and, you know, Datadog and uh, just a whole bunch bunch of software stocks mm -hmm. outperforming again today, but, uh, you know, really good uh, earnings in this uh, industry group. So not surprising to see the stocks do well. Mm -hmm. And nice to see that relative strength line finally hitting new highs after a, a dip a little bit. As you mentioned, we've seen a lot of other breakouts in the software sector really leading the way, but Paylocity not quite hitting all-time highs yet, but it is getting very close to that level now. That yeah, and that is, a, like you pointed out, a very bullish uh, relative strength line. So we like to see that RS line in new high ground as a stock breaks out and, uh, you know, uh, Paylocity uh, fits, uh, fits the bill, definitely. Mm -hmm. All right, and moving on, checking in on Spotify, moving big on news today, up 13% massive volume on news, inking a deal with Kim Kardashian. And this comes after uh, news of a deal with Joe Rogan. So they are really upping their game on the podcast front to really differentiate their platform with exclusive content here and investors really liking the sound of that. And you mentioned not chasing stocks, but we did actually put Spotify on Swing Trader yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Well, yesterday you can see it uh, It just just barely uh, topped that 196.85 uh, uh, pivot. And then after it was added to Swing Trader on Wednesday, obviously this Kim Kardashian uh, criminal justice podcast news mm -hmm. uh, came out and then the stock uh, gapped up powerfully. So uh, it's probably not a stock that you want to uh, chase here, but we've seen so many stocks in recent weeks that are gapping up uh, powerfully. And then what they've been doing is kind of moving sideways and, and right. trading uh, tightly. Maybe we can flip over to the weekly chart for Spotify and just uh, see that it you know, actually looks pretty extended on the, uh, on the daily chart. But you can see here, you go all the way over on the left side, all the way over there. Yeah. And you can just kind of draw a line. You can see it's just really kind of in the early stages of breaking out of a first stage consolidation here. So wouldn't chase the stock here. But uh, when you see such a powerful move, um, you know, strong stocks will often hold those gains, trade tightly near highs, and uh, doesn't take long 
long before you see a new uh, entry point. So it's mm -hmm. a good, actually a good one for the watch list at this point. Yes, and you know that in and Canslin, that new, the, these announcements are are kind of a game changer, uh, as you will, for this company. One that has really just been, like you said, consolidating, moving sideways for quite some time now. Now in new high ground, so definitely putting it squarely on our radar. Yeah, and you can see uh, Spotify is a company that's uh, you know no stranger to really strong sales growth in recent quarters. It's not uh, profitable yet, but it uh, looks like they're. On the, on the verge of prof, profitability, the annual losses mm -hmm. are, are getting uh, much uh, much smaller. And if they can continue to, de to deliver this 20% uh, plus year over year revenue growth, uh, like I said, profitability is probably not uh, far off for this company. Yeah, we'll be keeping an eye on those fundamentals uh, in the next quarterly report. But last but not least, let's take another look at a, a weekly chart of another stock, and that is West Pharmaceutical, ticker WST here, Ken. And we see this being the first rebound after a pullback to the 50-day line from a breakout of this cup here. Yeah, so this is, uh, we're looking at a weekly chart here. So this is just a good example. Uh, we talked about this on IBD Live this morning of uh, what a good solid first test of the 10 week moving average looks like. Uh, this is uh, on the um, long-term leaders uh, watch list. So it's uh, technically not a, a member of the uh, IBD long-term leaders uh, portfolio, but it's uh, it's been a long time uh, market leader, uh, very stable track record of, uh, of earnings. And uh, so it definitely has the look of a, of a long-term leader and really like the, the test of the 10-week uh, moving average. To me, this stock looks, uh, looks actionable right now because you've had a powerful breakout and it's uh, finding support here, which uh, you would expect a, a leading stock like this to do. So so, uh, you know, good solid test of the 10 week moving average. All right, everyone, that is it for today's show. A look at three compelling stock moves. And as Ken mentioned, West Pharmaceuticals looking actionable here. And speaking of actionable stocks, we are checking out real time moves every morning in depth on IBD Live. That's our morning live stream where our experts share their screens and analyze stocks on the move and overall market conditions. So, Ken, you uh, have been on a lot lately. Give us a, a little look at what's been uh, in conversation on IBD Live lately. Well, I know, uh, I know tomorrow morning they're going to go around the horn early and you're going to have to pick a, pick a stock to talk about. So I look forward to hearing what, yeah. uh, what, what you're <laughs> going to talk about tomorrow morning. But uh, yeah, you know, I mean, I, I, in this morning's uh, show, we just, uh, we, we, we talked about the fact that, uh, you know, it is actually getting a, a little harder finding uh, stocks to, uh, to buy because the market's been running up for, for so long. But uh, just like we looked at West Pharmaceuticals, uh, seeing mm -hmm. a, a lot of uh, stocks showing kind of alternate uh, entries yes. after, uh, after breakout. So uh, I'm sure that'll be the, the thrust of the conversation again mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow. And we're seeing a, st a few stocks building uh, bases, uh, some stocks kind of breaking out sluggishly from these bases, mm -hmm. but uh, really it seems to me like alternate entries and yes, uh, you know, are, are the way to, way to play the market right now. Yeah, these pullbacks, reversals, three yep. and four weeks tight. So we are looking at all of that for you on IBD Live. So make sure you join us tomorrow morning at investors.com slash IBD Live. And that's it for today, everyone. Thank you for joining us. These conversations are for informational and educational purposes only. So make sure to do your own research. Until next time, this is Alyssa Corum and Ken Shreve. We'll see you tomorrow.